What's going on guys? I'm Zach from the Lumios Post where we talk about all things Pokemon and today we'll be talking about a character from Legends Arceus who has an ancestor or ancestors plural that you may not expect. So Pokemon Legends Arceus, it's no secret, it's one of the biggest fan favorite games that Pokemon has made already and it has a lot about it that is just phenomenal the kind of steps towards an open world and the new pokemon new variants it being set in this time where pokemon are kind of these unknown creatures but one of the most interesting things i think is the characters of legends arceus many of these characters are clearly ancestors to characters that we've known from previous games for example kamado is professor rowan's ancestor Silene is clearly Cyrus's ancestor, and there's many more examples. The best part is they didn't even just stick to Sinnoh. They, they went a little outside of that as well, such as Polina being uh, very likely Diantha's ancestor. But there's, there's one character, and in my opinion, he is one of the best characters, and that is Benny. And I've seen a lot of people say that Benny is a certain character's ancestor, and I agree with it, but I also think there's more. So people say that Benny is Wally's ancestor, and the reason that they say this is because Benny uses a Gallade, which Wally also uses a Norris, and Benny also has the same hairstyle as Wally, and even has a bit of a green tint to his hair, much like Wally, who has green hair. And I, I definitely think that's right. I 100% think that Benny is Wally's ancestor. However, there are some characters in Legends Arceus that do not have just one descendant. They have multiple descendants. For example, the character Charm, which is one of the Misfortune sisters, one of the bandits that you will encounter as you play through Legends Arceus, she is actually the ancestor to two characters, Bertha and Agatha from the Sinnoh Elite Four, Bertha and Agatha's from the Kanto Elite Four. Now this was pretty cool because it was a long running theory that Bertha and Agatha were related. Ever since Bertha was first revealed, people speculated her and Agatha could be related because they both look similar and they're both these powerful Elite Four trainers. And Charm kind of confirmed this by one looking like both of them and even using one of Bertha's main Pokemon in Rhydon and one of Agatha's main Pokemon in Gengar. I thought this was a really neat way of the Pokemon company confirming a long-standing theory made by us fans through this character and I think that this is not the only character where they did that with. So in order to explain this we have to go all the way back to Unova. Pokemon Black and White. In Pokemon Black and White, there was a big theory that people were not in the games, but rather when these games were out, people theorized that the Strikes and City Gym Leaders, that Silent, Chili, and Cress were actually the Shadow Triad, which were these group of ninjas that you would encounter. They were antagonistic characters that you would encounter as you progress. Basically, the reason this theory existed was because the Strikes and Gym Leaders were not present at the finale of black and white where all the gym leaders come in except for the strides and city gym leaders and help you battle team plasma and the interesting thing about that is the strides and gym leaders are the only ones that are missing and the shadow triad is there so it just seemed kind of fishy that all these gym leaders rally together but the strides and gym leaders didn't want to join in and then the shadow triads there it's, it's almost like they had said no we don't stand for that and instead they were on the side of Team Plasma. However, this theory was actually debunked because in Black 2 and White 2, you can connect your game to a black or white game and get these memories and you'll get to see these flashbacks that took place in between the games of Black and White and Black 2 and White 2. And basically you find out that the Stride and City Gym Leaders were actually battled and defeated by the Shadow Triad. Well, obviously, since you see this, you see the Shadow Triad defeat the Strides and City Gym Leaders. That kind of breaks the theory that they are, you know, the same person. But I think Benny confirms that they are indeed related. 
So the thing about Benny is, of course, like I said, I totally agree that he could be Wally's ancestor, but he also, let's look at two key details about him. For one, he's a chef. He cooks apparently delicious potato mochi, and it, it should be noted that the Striden City Gym Leaders, while also being gym leaders, they also own a restaurant. Their gym is actually a restaurant in Striden City, so they are also very good chefs. Then the other thing about Benny was he was secretly a ninja the whole time. A ninja, like the Shadow Triad. Furthermore, if you look at Benny, you can see that he, he kind of looks, maybe this is just me, but he kind of looks like Silent to me. I'll show a close-up picture of his face, and I'll show up a close-up picture of Silent's face. It, it just looks very similar to me. You know, tell me in the comments if you think I'm absolutely crazy, but I think they're totally... The, uh, I think the Striton City Gym Leaders are totally the descendants of this guy. Now, I think him being related to the Shadow Triad, that's purely based off of, I totally admit, it's purely based off of him being a ninja secretly. But I think it's a nice little nod to, we thought that the Striton City Gym Leaders were the Shadow Triad the whole time. And then their ancestor, who's this you know sweet old man who cooks potato mochi for us, ends up being... Uh, ninja villain the whole time much like our theory about the Stratton City gym leaders way back when I Totally think that was on purpose. I think that just because of that theory That confirms that he's the I feel like that's evidence for him being the shadow triads gym leader because they did this or ancestor sorry, I, I feel like this confirms that just like how they made this really neat long-running theory come to fruition with charm i feel like they're doing the same thing here with benny furthermore at the end of the game if you talk to benny once the whole battle's over benny talks about how you know he came to hisui to help kamado out but he's thinking of moving to somewhere with a bit warmer of a climate climate sorry and while this could again be a reference to hoenn because hoenn's a tropical place and so that definitely has a better climate it, it could also be a reference to Unibah. it's less cold than hokkaido and stride and gym specifically that's in the southern part of Unibah, so it'd be a bit warmer again it, it's just a theory but i i do really feel like benny is silent chili and cress and the shadow triad's ancestor and i very much do believe he could be wally's too let me know in the comments below what you think of this theory be sure to like subscribe hit the bell for notifications because we have a lot more cool theories coming up specifically about legends arceus those games were like the world's fattest cow for those who love theories and lores i mean there's just so much to eat from that but yeah so be sure to keep up to date with all the stuff on the channel We've got tons of more coming we've got tons of scarlet and violet videos coming up too until next time i'll see all of you later